Hello everyone and welcome back to Code in Peace. In this lesson we will learn how you can have different layout for your different web pages in your Next.js based website. Let's take an example where you have a website and you want to have different layouts for your different web pages. Let's say you have a navigation bar on your home page and you don't want it to appear onto a different web page, maybe a dashboard page. So for this, the concept of route groups comes into play. So let's get started. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project with the help of command npx create next dash app at the rate latest. So we have a new package available. So we will go with yes option. Let's name the app as route groups. I will select yes for all of the options and no for the customized default import and yes. All right, so our project is now created. So the next thing what we will do is we will go ahead and move into our folder where we have the pages inside the source app. So we have pages and the layout over here. So first thing I will go into the page and I will remove all of these content from over here because these are the default content that you get whenever you create a new project. I will simply add over here h1 this is the home page. As we mentioned we will be going through different web pages and try to see how you can have different layout styles. So for that I will create two new folders and that will be for the dashboard and the other one will be for about this page. So that will be also in our app directory. So let's name it as about dash us. So now we have these two folders created. I will quickly create page.tsx files for both of these folders so that we can have the landing pages for both of these links. And for the dashboard page, I'm simply going to type in export default function and then the name of the page that is going to be dashboard in our case. And then we are going to return h1 and this will be saying this is the dashboard page. The same thing I will also do for the about us page as well. So I will just name it as about us. And over here also we should have it as about us. Now you can see over here that these two folders are actually created inside the source app folder, which means that these two pages will also share the layout that is globally declared, which is over here. So over here, I'm also going to import links so that I can have a navigation bar where I will be having the links for about us and the dashboard page. So for that, I will go here and create a navigation bar. So this will be saying home nav bar. And then under this, I will be having links. So so first of all, I will create divisions so that I have my links in different rows rather than each of them having in a single row. So for that, I will just create division over here. And then after that, I will create a link. href is equals to slash and this will be for the home page. And then I will create the same for about us and the dashboard page. All right, here we go. So let's move into the folder that we just created with the name as route dash groups. This should have been groups. Sorry for that mistake. So now we will do npm run dev. And let's go onto this link so that we can see what sort of website do we have now. So over here you can see this is the website that it looks like. I will just disable the import globals. Save it. And here you can see we have a home navigation bar with the home about us and the dashboard page. So these pages are working. Now what we actually want is to have a dashboard with a different navigation bar on that. And also at the same time we don't want this home nav bar to be onto the dashboard page. So let's see how you do that. So for that, what I will do is I will go to the dashboard page and first of all, I will create over here a new file and name it as layout.tsx. 
Now, once you do that, the next thing you have to do is you have to bring in the layout. So for that, what I will do is I will simply copy this root layout, paste it over here. And instead of naming it as root layout, I will name it as dashboard layout. And also I will import link over here. And I will simply name this one over here as dashboard nav bar. Remove these two links from over here so that we can only go to the home page from the dashboard. Save it. Reload the page. And now you see when you go to the dashboard, you have got only the dashboard navigation bar and you can directly then go to the home page. So this is one way of making it to work. So now the reason why you're not seeing the home navigation bar onto the dashboard page is you have the HTML tags over here, the HTML and the body tags. So if I just remove this HTML and the body tag from over here, what you will see is, let me just remove the HTML and the body tag from over here and add a tag for division to end it out over here and start it out over here. Save it. And now when you reload the page, you will see that the dashboard page also have the home navigation bar. So if you go to the about us page, you go to the home page, you will see the home navigation bar. And when you go to the dashboard page, you will see that you still have the home navigation bar and also the dashboard navigation bar over here as well. So in order to remove that, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have the HTML and the body tags over here. And when you go to the dashboard page, you will see that the home navigation bar has been removed. Now that is one way of doing that. You can also do this with the help of the route groups. So in the route groups, in a particular group for all the web pages, it will share the same layout. So let's see how you can do that. So for that, you need to go to the app and you can create a new folder over here. So let's name it as dash. Now you will see over here that we are going to create a route group. So in order to create a route group, what you do is you type the name of the folder within the parenthesis and just hit enter. So the name that you have entered in the parenthesis won't be appearing in your URL link. So let's see what do I mean by that. So for that, what I will do is now I am going to move the dashboard folder inside this dash folder that I just created. And and now see what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want to have this layout style for all of the pages that are inside the dashboard. So I'm just going to move it over here. Now, as you can see over here, you have the dash folder, which is actually the route group. And it doesn't matter how many web pages do you have over there. Let's say you have a dashboard, then you can have dashboard one, two, three, and any other contact us pages, all those things. So all of them will be sharing this layout file that you have just created, which means that it won't have the home page layout appearing onto that particular route group. And in the same way, if you just see over here, then you have the app folder and inside the app folder, you have the about us page and then the layout.tsx file. So which means whatever folders or whatever web pages do you have in your main app folder, those all will be sharing the nested layout for the home page or you can say that it will be sharing the master layout now that we have created the dash folder and i have this page dot tss file inside the dashboard folder and this layout file so let's see let's close this first and rerun it again remember always whenever you change the layout of your web app you need to always rerun the project so for that i will just reload this page over here All right, so if I go to the home page, the about us page, and if you go to the dashboard page, so you can see this still works the same way. So if I just go to the home, you will see over here that this is the home page. Now, one thing to notice over here is, even though I have created this dash route group, it is a new folder by the way, and you will see that the link is still the same and it does not appear, this name dash does not appear inside the URL. This is because this is a different route group and you can have different layout styles for different route groups in your web application. So I will just go to the home page for now. And just to show you how the route groups actually work, I will create a new folder inside this dash and let's name it as dashboard two. 
and I will quickly create a new file in here with the name is page.tsx I will just copy the content of this to over here and this is the dashboard 2 page and also name it as dashboard 2 just quickly save it out over here and now if I go to dashboard 2 you can see that we are on the dashboard 2 and if you notice we do not have the home page navigation bar on this dashboard 2 page reason being we have created a different route group and we have already declared that we do not want the home page navigation bar to appear onto our web pages that are inside this dash route group so in summary if you want to have your multiple web pages and you do not want to share the root layout with all of those web pages so you can create different route groups and put them into the different folders so this is how e-commerce websites and all other websites are being made where you have a different layout structure for the main home pages and when you go on to the checkout pages or when you go to the shopping cart and everything you have a different layout so with this i hope you have got an understanding of how route groups work in next.js and how you can implement it in your web application with the help of next.js thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment so that you do not miss out more informative videos like this